good evening this is Johnny I thought I'd do uh, show you some books I got at a thrift, thrift store uh, a couple blocks from where we live it's Bibles from Mexico they had like get five books for a dollar and that was last week and this is what I found at Bibles to Mexico I got these books for about four dollars and I just thought I'd show them to you because it's a Sunday, it's the beginning of a new week, and I don't want to have, I want to put all these books away, get them, they've been in stacks over there on top of a container, and I, I just want to put them away. I got this book, <clears throat> uh, Death in the Air, the true story of a serial killer, the great London smog and the strangling of a city by Kate Wingler Dal Dalson. And then I got <clears throat> The Private Lives of Winston Churchill, uh, John Peer Pearson. It's on the, uh, <coughs> <coughs> it's on the, the Private Lives of the Winston Churchill. I, I collect books on Winston Churchill and it's only a quarter. This is a novel called Boy Island, a novel by Camden Joy. Uh, Camden Joy tells the piss, uh, tale of an American rock and roll band as they travel below both the Mason-Dixie line and the culture radar in the early 1991. As the Persian Gulf escalates in the background, we follow the four members including a drummer who, like the author, is named Camden Joy on solo and group adventures amid the uh, American landscape of diners, clubs, colleges, and hotels. It's just, I you know, I just picked it up. I collect these uh, novels by E.F. Benson, who was a British writer. This is a foreword by Nancy Medford, The Worship of Lucia, Part 5, Make Way for Lucia. I have a whole bunch of these. I collect books on Sartre, and this is the work of Sartre, Volume 1, Search for Freedom. I cannot pronounce that last name. Eisman Miss Zoros. This is for my Sartre collection. This came out in... It's an older book, I think. Came out in... 1979. I have a whole shelf of Sartre. I got into Sartre when I was in high school and I haven't read them since really. <clears throat> I picked this memoir up. It, Road, Song, a memoir. This uh, extraordinary life from it. Kreutz has fashioned an uncommon, arresting, afflicting story. This is a uh, in 1969, when she was six years old, Natalie Kutz, with her parents and three siblings, left Los Angeles and headed north to Alaska on a classic quest for freedom. This is on the French Revolution, Paris and the, Ter and the Terror by Stanley Loomis. This is on the French Revolution. Uh, it's called Paris and the Terror, July 1793 to... June 1793 to July 9, 1794 by Steve. It's on the <clears throat> French Revolution. This is Edwin Shaw, short stories, Five Deaf Kids, with a foreword by Alfred Kazan. This guy, he wrote a lot of novels. Uh, I've seen him at thrift stores, uh, Voices of Summer. Day, The Young Lions, The Troubled Air, Lucy Crown, ten, Two Weeks, Another Town, Rich Man, Poor Man. Uh, he wrote short story collections, plays, nonfiction in the Company of Dolphins, Paris, Paris. So these are his short stories. This is a classic Civil War, The Life of Johnny Reb, the common soldier of the Confederacy, 
by Bell Alvin Irvin Welly. Uh, so this is kind of interesting. This is a memoir called The Good and the Bad and the Dosa Villa, The Adventures of an Actor in Hollywood, Paris, and Rome by Mickey Knox, prefaced by Norman Mailer. Another memoir. This is Isaac Newton's Revised History of Ancient Kingdoms, a complete chronolo chronology by Isaac, Sir Isaac Newton. Yeah, he looks at ancient history and he follows the biblical chronological order of ancient ancient world up until the time of Christ. This is The Arabs, A Short History by Philip A. K. Hilted. Hilted. It's a little book on the Arabs. It's all, you know. I just grabbed it. This is a memoir called Bookshop in Berlin by Fran Francis Frankel with a preface by the Nobel, Nobel La Laureate Patrick Manaho. Manano? I think it was translated out of German by Stephanie Smee, Smeemi. Something like that. I don't know. If I just grab it. Uh, this is a mem uh, biography on Somerset Maw. The Secret Lies of Somerset Maw, a biography by Selena Hastings. She wrote a biography on Evelyn Wan, a biography. I have a huge Ev Somerset Mall collection. This is Short Nights of the Shadow Catcher, the Epic Life and Immortal, Immortal Photographs of Edward Curtis by Timothy Egan. This is a history of the Vikings. I can't pronounce his name. The background to a fierce and fascinating civilization. The Vikings by Johannes Bronsted. This is a book on hawking <laughs> or falconry. Falconry is called the goose hawk by T.H. White. These are two novels by Rodney Dow, who I collect. I have a stack of his novels over there. These are his novel, Smile. And then this is his novel, Love, by Rodney Dow. Yeah, I collect him. I don't know why. I just have over the years, never dehauled him. He has a lot of books. You know, he's written a lot of a lot of novels. He is from Dublin, born in 1958. He is the author of 11 acclaimed novels. He's won a finalist for the Booker Prize, winner of the Booker Prize. Uh, he has two collections of stories, several works for children. He lives in Dublin. This is another memoir, Against the Tide, The Fate of the New England Fisherman by Richard Adams Carey. This is a trilogy, like a memoir, <coughs> by Laura Lee, Laura, Laurie Lee, Red Sky at Sunrise. It's three like memoirs put together in paperback. Cedar with Rosie as I walked out on one summer morning in a moment of war, an autobiographical trilogy. Never heard of this, but I saw it at the Bibles for Mexico and I don't know, it just looked interesting, so I grabbed it. Uh. 
These are <clears throat> papers on psychology, art, liber uh, literature, love, and religion, on creativity and unconsciousness by Sigmund Freud. I got rid of my Sigmund Freud collection, most of it. I kept a few of his books, but this kind of, I just grabbed it because it was only a quarter. And then I got this, it's kind of like a, a I, it's, it's not fiction, I think it's non-fiction, called City of Devils, Two Men Who Ruled the Underworld of Old Shanghai by Paul French. Yeah, I just picked up another of his books. It was called, let me see if it's listed here. Uh, yeah, Midnight in Peking, How the Murder of a Young English Woman Haunted the Last Days of Old Peking. Peking. He wrote a book called The Badlands, Decadent Playground of Old Peking, Peking Bloody Saturday, Shanghai's Darkest Day. Seems to write now uh, books on Shanghai and has a, a map of it in there. So these are the kinds of things I picked up at Bibles to Mexico. I got for like, all these for four dollars, and now I gotta find a place for them. Most of this is I collect, like I, I collect him. I collect. This is the New York Review book. I have. He wrote a book called. It's very famous. His book, it was um, called, I have it over there. It was called The Once and Future King. He wrote T.H. White. And I, you know, you can always have a little book on the Vikings. I have a whole stack of Timothy Egan's books. I had this book in paperback which I took to the book nook and I kept this hardback that I got at Bibles to Mexico. And I collect books on Somerset Mall. And I collect books on France, Paris, and the French Revolution. I like memoirs, that's why I got Road Song. I collect books on Sartre. I collect books by E.F. Benson, his uh, Lucia series. Uh, I collect books, music, kind of memoirs, novels around rock music and indie music. I collect books on Ch Churchill and his family. This, I collect books on London. This is a story about the London smog, the great London smog. It took place in 1952. I collect memoirs, especially on Berlin, or Paris, or London. This is Bookshop in Berlin, a memoir. It took place during the Second World War. A little book on the Arabs. You can always have a good book on the Arabs. I have a biography of Sir Isaac Newton, and I like looking at chronologically the history of the world from his perspective. I like memoirs, especially by actors and Adventures of an Act of Hollywood, Paris, and Rome. It's prefaced by Norman Mailer, who was friends with Mickey Knox. And I like biographies or autobiographies or historical novels on the Civil War. And this is The Life of Johnny Depp. And I like reading short stories. I don't, don't have any books by Ever uh, Erwin Shaw. So I thought I'd just read them. If I don't like them, I take them to the book nook. So yeah, it's nothing really spectacular, nothing that blows my mind, or I just grabbed them. You know, it's only, like I said, four dollars for all those books. So today, it's going on 5.30 on a Sunday evening. I made a video this morning, and I'll download this video tonight before I go to bed. And Tomorrow's a Monday, I go to the book nook, the library use bookstore, and the day will go by, the week will go by, and before you know it, it'll be February, and life just keeps going. 
So I hope you had a good Sunday, have a good new week, and until next time, bye.